Today we're going to take a look at how transforming measurements affects the mean and the standard deviation. So in list one, I have some height data for a class of students. Each child's height is listed in inches. So before we do anything else, let's just find our original mean and standard deviation. If you remember, we do that by first going second mode to quit, stat, over to calc, and then to one var stats, identifying my list and it's list one for us. You would just hit enter um, and then calculate. So our mean is x bar, which is 44.2, and our standard deviation is going to be 3.19. So what's going to happen if I go into my lists again and I say, all right, well, next year I think all of these kids are going to grow 3 inches by the end of the next year. How can I transform each of these measurements without having to actually add 3 inches? Well, the easy way to do it would be to highlight list 2, hit the second one key for L1 and then plus 3. So this tells me that I want to add 3 to each value in list 1. When I hit enter it will automatically do that for me. So I'm in a second mode to quit. I'm going to go to stat, over to calc, hit enter, and this time we need to identify our list as list 2. So I'm going to hit second 2 and you would just hit second two and enter. I have to hit calculate. And now I have a new mean and standard deviation. So 47.2 is the mean and my standard deviation is 3.19. So let's make a table of this information. You can see up in the right hand corner I have the original data listed as well as this new data where we added three to each person. So let's try one more change to our data. If I go back to stat and enter I'm going to go to list 3. I want to change all of those values from list 1 from inches to centimeters. In order to do that, I'm going to need to divide each value by 2.54. So I'm going to do the same thing I did in list 2, second 1, and then I'm going to divide by 2.54, and I'm going to hit enter. So it will automatically do that for me in every single cell. And it's nice when you do it as a whole list because all of these values that you would have had to originally round now are the actual numbers that they are. So again, we'll go back to second mode to quit, stat, calc, one var stats, and now our information is in list three. We'll hit calculate. And now I have a mean of 17.4 and a standard deviation of 1.257. So we'll put this information into our table and then let's see how we could have come up with these values without doing all of this transforming in our lists. So here's the completed table with all of the values from my original heights, the heights when we added three inches to each height, and the heights when we divided by 2.54 to turn it into centimeters. So let's think about what's happening here. If we're taking a look at the relationship between the mean of the original heights and the mean of the heights when I added three to every student, I can tell that the original mean of 44.2 and the new mean of 47.2 are separated by three. That's the same thing that happened to each value in the list. So when I'm transforming a list by adding or subtracting the same value to each number in the list, then I can change the mean by that same value. So in this case we added 3, so we're going to add 3 to our mean. Now if I look at the standard deviation, that doesn't change. So we need to think about why that's happening. Standard deviation is really measuring the difference between all the data points. So if I'm just shifting all of those heights up the number line, okay, so let's use an easy example where we just have values of 1, 2, and 3. So if I were to use this as an example, I would take each value in the original and I would move it up three points on the number line. So the 1 would add 3 and that would go to 4. The 2's would add 3 and they would go to 5 and the 3 would add 3 and that would go to 6. So you'll notice 
that the relationship between the numbers didn't change. So all of these things are just as close together in the original as they were in the new one when we added. So the standard deviation isn't going to change because the relationship between the numbers hasn't changed. So let's write some rules about this. When you add or subtract a value to each number in a list, these things are going to happen. The new mean is going to equal to the old mean plus or minus the value. So depending on what you're doing, if you're adding, it's going to add by the value. If you're subtracting, it'll subtract by the value. And then the standard deviation is going to stay the same. So let's take a look at how dividing affects our situation here. <clears throat> so if we're looking at the original mean of 44.2 and the new mean of 17.4, that relationship's not as easy to, to think about as the addition was. We can see pretty easily that we were adding 3. So let's think about what we did to those heights. Well, I know that I divided each height in the list by 2.54. So let's see if that'll help me here. So if I take 44.2 and divide it by 2.54, what that's going to give me is 17.4. So for this one, the same exact thing is going to work for the standard deviation. So we would take our original standard deviation of 3.19 and divide by that same value. And we would get 1.255, which rounds to 1.26. So we need to think about why that standard deviation is getting smaller here. So let's think about that number line problem again. Division and multiplication are, are linked, just like addition and subtraction are. So it's much easier to talk about it in terms of multiplication. So let's do a number line again. So I have two number lines here. Let's put some data on. So my original data set has a 1, some 2s, and a 3. So let's say I want to make each value double its original value. So I would multiply by 2 to get to the next graph, to get to that next number line. So 1 times 2 would be 2. 2 times 2 would be 4. 3 times 2 would be 6. So you can see here that these values are much more spread out than they were originally. Because standard deviation is measuring the relationship among all of those data points and now they are more spread out, that is going to get bigger. The standard deviation is going to get bigger. So for our situation over here, our standard deviation got smaller because our numbers are being divided. They're getting close together. So let's write a rule here. When you multiply or divide each number in the list by a value, the new mean is equal to the old mean times the value or the new mean is equal to the old mean divided by the value. The same things are going to hold true for the standard deviation. The new standard deviation is going to equal the old standard deviation times the value or the new standard deviation equals the old standard deviation divided by the value. So you can use these rules now to figure out your new mean and standard deviation instead of going through that whole big list. Because sometimes you're not going to have all the data points and you're going to need to just um, go by the original mean and the original standard deviation.